top story is Lee. You know, Jason, we went from an invest to a tropical storm in just a matter of hours. Yeah, this storm has already jumped two different categories here, which this is why we are so confident here that this is going to be forecasting into a major hurricane here. Now, when it has max winds at 65 miles per hour, Lee is still churning well to the east of the Leeward Islands. It is max winds at 14, or should say it's moving uh, west-northwest at 14 miles per hour. All indicators are that this is going to continue to push westward here. Now, is it expected to make landfall here? Well, that's still up in the air here, but we are very confident that at least for some of the Caribbean islands, this is going to produce not only some rough surf, but also push up some of those winds, especially for those of you that are going to be heading to Puerto Rico here. Now, there are some indications that beyond this forecast that it could have some impacts to the United States here. Important to note here, it is still far too early to tell whether or not this is going to end up happening here. But Britta, as we take a look at the infrared, one of the things that it's pretty important to note is this storm is still missing that eye, that center of that circulation, which is what we use to figure out what's going to be happening next with this system. And that's going to quickly change. I mean, we got a lot of heat out there. Here's the visible satellite because now we have light of day so we can run this product. And what we're noticing is a lot more thunderstorm development in the northeast quadrant. So that's been an area that's been a little more dry. Now we're seeing the moisture tick up. Also, we've seen these finger-like clouds off on the northwest side. That's the wind shear. And the wind shear is going to be going down, trending downward over the next 12 hours. And that's really the only thing that is holding Lee back. So once the wind shear is resolved. We're left with very warm water, ample moisture. This is going to be gasoline on the fire. And so we're quickly going to see this storm rapidly intensify, which all of our major hurricanes this year, Jason, have rapidly intensified. And, and I think it, it's uh, kind of mind-boggling mind to really think about the fact that we've had all of these different hurricanes and all of these tropical systems that have pushed through the Caribbean as well as the Atlantic. They have pulled a lot of the warm water uh, up to the sky, up to the clouds, right? I mean, that's why you get some of these tall cumulonimbus clouds as a result of this, right? But this also is important to, uh, it, it's also further verification about just how deep a lot of this warmth uh, really trends down here. I mean, so we're talking about several feet here. So this is why, you know, we're fairly confident that Lee is going to end up becoming a major hurricane. I mean, one or two of the models here, but are even indicating that this bad boy could mm -hmm. even be upgraded to a Category 5 at some yeah. point. Yeah, and this weekend it's going to be a close call for the Caribbean islands. Uh, most of our computer models keep it north. There's a lot of confidence to that turn to the north, but this is a big storm and it's a powerful one. So indirect impacts are important. And also we're going to have the outer rain bands and the wind field stretching over the Northeast Caribbean islands. So we could have very strong tropical storm conditions, if not stronger. Uh, so watch it closely. Again, the time frame for the Northeast Caribbean islands is this weekend. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.